Hey guys, it's AquaCat739 here, and today I'm here for a, um, video, I guess, I don't, I don't know, just watch, I guess. Um, before I start, I want to apologize in case I cry, and, um, yeah, I want to apologize in advance. Um, and second of all, if I'm in any of your MEPs, I'm so sorry, just, I just, I, I'm, I can't right now. I'm sorry. Um, there's been too much going on, and I've just, this is the last thing that I just want to, it's like my lowest priority right now, and I know I'm, there's a few that I'm overdue, overdue with. Um, Maggie and the Beat, I think here's our due today. I have no clue, but Maggie, I'm sorry, I probably won't get around from doing it, I apologize, just, oh, I promise the next one I'll be in, I just... I know you probably guys, you guys want your MEP parts done, so if you happen to see this video, I just, I can't. Um, along with Peppy Paws, I was in your MEP. I was going to start working on it today, but I'm just, I can't. I just, I, I'm, I, it's gonna make sense as soon as you get further into this video. So I guess I'll start. So my grandma has a cat named Salem. I'll just kind of show a picture on the screen later I guess I don't know I'll show a little picture here right now one sec that was Salem it's I mean it's not the best 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 blah, best picture of Salem that I have but you know it works um but he was really cute he kind of had my hair color you can't really tell from the picture well I guess you kind of can but that's that's what he looked like. Oh, I have a little video I'm going to insert at the end of this. I'm just not going to put in the outro, maybe. I might. Probably not. But he was really sweet. I met him in 2012, 11, 2011, in December, and um, Christmas, actually, 2011's Christmas. And um, he's my grandma's cat. I'm at my grandma's right now. I've been here for the past three days. My mom's at work. And, um, he was just the sweetest thing. Really nice. I mean, sometimes he'd get a little bit aggravated, and he'd hiss every once in a while, but, you know, he never really bit. He never bit. Never. Um, he would let me play dress up. I actually have some of the things up right here, because I made a video before this, but it was 20 minutes long. And I just kind of, I don't know what I did. I just regret it. Um, I, he let me put this on him once he hated it, but whenever he let me do it anyway. He kind of sat there and just let me, he let me put this on him. I just, I, I was dead, okay? It was three years ago. Almost. Almost three years ago. And a lot of other things that are in there, he let me put on him. But. He would let me do whatever. Um, my grandma, we went up, we went out because I wanted somewhere to hang out before I got this entire room upstairs. So we went out and we bought a tent. Salem took over it. And uh, I used to play with these little Alvin and the Chipmunk things, the little plushy things, I guess. And he loved them too. He would guard them whenever I wasn't there. He would just kind of sleep next to them. It was so cute. And, um, he would always guard them. But when I got all my signatures, which are the ones over here, he would always guard them for me whenever whenever I wasn't here, since I can't take these guys home because I have too many. Maybe I will try now, since he's, well, whatever. Um, he would guard them all the time. Yeah. And, um, he would, sometimes when I'd be up here, he would sleep in my stuffed animals. And I would be playing with my webkins over there, and sometimes I'd come play with him. I'd come play by him, and he would just sit there and smile, and sometimes he'd look at me, like, seriously. He'd lay in the sun over here. I remember one time I would spin him in the chair, and then that one time over there, that's why that thing is sunk in, because he jumped on it and he fell in. It was hilarious. Um, but, yeah, he would, 
he would hang out up here. Last year, he started acting really weird in March. We didn't know what was wrong with him. We thought he had a UTI because he was peeing blood and the my aunt couldn't figure out what was wrong with him because she's a veterinarian. So we took her to her animal hospital. We couldn't figure out what was wrong. And in December, we found out he had bladder cancer, which is a really rare type of cancer for cats. They only, they said he only had a few months left, but he lived a long, long time later because they said in March that he he doesn't look good. We don't know what's wrong, but it seems serious. So he probably only has two months left. Well, he lived a year and a half later. He he lived that long, and um, he got better. The cancer actually ended up going away. But since he was 18 years old, I think I don't know. My grandma got him 2001 as a kitten. Or 2000, I think, I don't know. In that video, it might be wrong later after this. I don't. Um, he. What was I saying? I forgot. But he, um. He was older, so the can after the cancer went away, it ended up going away. There, I mean, there may have been a little bit left in him, but that's not what killed him because he was peeing fine. He wasn't peeing blood anymore. Three months later, he wasn't, he stopped, and, um, he just, last week, for the past two months, or two weeks, he wasn't really eating well, and we had to force feed him with a syringe, which is kind of like a tube that you push down. It's kind of like a shot, but it doesn't have a needle, it just is kind of a little tube that you have to eat out of. Uh, I did that with my rabbit, so we did it to Salem to make him eat because he wouldn't. He ended up getting a little bit down his throat, and then he started eating a little bit. But this week, he just, he wasn't able to walk anymore because he wasn't eating so much that he, his, kind of, his backside just kind of sunk in. It was basically just bone, and he just couldn't walk anymore. So he was laying in my, in my grandma's bed, and... My grandma would bring food by him, but he wouldn't eat it. This has been going on for the past five days. He just wouldn't eat it. So we went, so my aunt gave him some medicine to keep him calm. And he did, he calmed down. He didn't seem like he was in pain except, um, he, w he, ha he was peeing on the bed because he couldn't walk. He couldn't get up. He was trying to get to the litter box, but he couldn't. We had to, we came in, we put it in the same room in case he decided he wanted to get up, but he just couldn't walk anymore. My mom and I have slept over for the past three days because we knew something would happen to him. Last night, we agreed that Salem wasn't going to live a lot longer, and he seemed like he wasn't happy anymore, so we were going to put him down. My grandma stayed up all night because Salem was, is really special to her and I'll explain you that in a second. She stayed up all night, she didn't sleep at all. At 6.40, he started acting so weird. He was jumpy, he was trying to get out of bed. He was sc screaming. And you could hear the bell on his collar that he was just moving and I heard it and I woke up a little bit but I fell back asleep. Five minutes later, my grandma runs out. She has the medicine that calms him down and she calls my mom and she's like give him the shot because we have to give him this um i forgot what it's called but we have to give him the shot that just keeps him calm so we could give him a different pill and he ended up falling on the floor and then he was trying to move but then he just stopped moving he didn't my mom like my mom, everyone got dressed, my mom ran in and gave him the shot, and ten seconds later, he stopped breathing. <laughs> we were gonna put him down anyway today, but we didn't expect him to go like this. 
this was completely unexpected. The thing is, my grandma wanted him to die at home. But she didn't want him to suffer, so she was going to take him in. We were going to wake up at 7.30. But it was an hour too soon before he could go. Actually, it was 45, 30 minutes because he died. Okay, 40 minutes because he died. It's 6.52 a.m. this morning. Every webcam is special in its own way, for different reasons. This one has always been one of my favorites, but this, I love him a lot more now. This webcam is always, I always bring him if, with me every time I put down an animal, or something happens. He was with me, I picked him up, and as, I, as we were getting ready to leave, my mom went to go give him the shot and I ran in, but I took him with me. And Salem died when I was holding him. And now this webkin means the world to me. And this is that webkin. I always take him with me wherever I go now. Because Luke makes me happy. Because... I take him with me to put him them down with because now it's kind of like he helps me or he helps them go down in peace. Even though I know that doesn't make any sense whatsoever and I know it's completely not true, it just makes me feel happy. And he's always there with me. I've lost four animals this year. And I might lose one person. I've lost four animals this year. I lost two people last year and 11 other animals last year. That may be wrong last year, I don't know. Um, but there were 13 people all together last year and four people. So that's like 16 people. F 15, 15 people. 17 people and animals added up all together. It's 17. And I know people say that it's going to get better. The pain is going to go away. That's what they all say. They say they're in a better place, and I know. I know that's absolutely true. 1,000%. Even animals, because I know a lot of people don't believe that. But I do. People say the pain will go away, but they're wrong. I'm sorry if this makes people feel bad. People say the pain's gonna go away, but it doesn't because something else has to happen and you're gonna feel the same feeling again. It's gonna come back, it's gonna return. It's always gonna be there. It's never completely gone. It's always gonna be in you. And it's gonna come out when something bad happens, which it's bad to you. But it's really not. Because if something... If someone passes away, it's not bad. It's good because they're in a better place. But maybe the way they died was bad. I don't know. But it still hurts. Years and years later, it still hurts. People always tell me, Oh, it's okay, Agua. They're in a better place now. I know, I'm not stupid. I've gone through this like 23 times, not exaggerating at all. I've gone through this like 20 times. I have lost like over 15 people. People, there are people my age who have only lost one. I have lost like 20 animals and people all together. Even people I've barely known, it's still sad. And it hurts. But there's this one person in my life that I wish, I wish they would go away because they aren't, they don't believe in God and they're a really, really terrible person. And honestly, his own mother said that he would be better off if he was dead. It's okay for him, her to say that because she's an adult. 
He's an, he's an adult too. He's a bad person. Yeah, out of everybody, out of every single person, he is the, one of the people that are still alive. I don't even understand. There are so many ways where this person could have died. And I'm, I don't want to name them really because once he fell down the stairs into a concussion, two flights of stairs, a month later he was perfectly fine. He should have died, honestly. He was in a concussion and a coma at the same time and he lived. That's a miracle, but since then, he's done so many worse things. Seriously. And it's just like, out of everybody, he is the one person still living. That I... <sighs> I bet you like two people can guess who this person is. I'm going to tell you that right now. Only like two or three. But that's it. And I'm not going to name those people either. Two of them I will because they're my best friends. Maggie and the Beat and ZigZag28. The other person? I really doubt. You, I doubt there's actually anybody else. But if anyone happens to figure it out, just don't comment it down below. But I'm very sad right now. I don't know when the next video I'm going to make. It may even be today. I don't, I don't know. I might just upload videos to get me off my mind because making videos makes me feel better as you guys know but I'm just sad because no one's gonna guard my signatures now and I'm probably gonna end up taking them all home since there's really no reason for them to be here because I left them here for Salem because I know he's not well but I guess he's better than ever now huh oh I guess I should tell you guys why Salem was so important to my grandma I have to plug in my phone so I will see you guys like right there Okay, I'm back. I'm at 4% of battery. It's a good thing I plugged in. I said 4, not 40, by the way. This cat was so important to my grandma. My grandma had a son. He was really important to her. And he bought these cats. The son was her only kid at all, whatsoever. He bought these cats. They were pedigree cats, which means they're purebreds. And she's like, why don't you buy one from the shelter? And he's like, I, I don't know, they were really cute. They are two Abyssinians. There was Abby in Salem. Abby passed away in 2011, and Salem passed away today. And I'm not happy about, well, I guess I kind of am, because he's not in pain anymore. But, um, he bought these cats for her, and she grew to love them. She was a little angry at him at first. Actually, they... He, she kept them up here in this room, which is one of the reasons why I love being up here so much. Because every now and then I'll see Salem's cat fur. Which is a little weird, I know, but whatever. So. He bought these cats for her and she grew to love them. In 2005, they... He passed away because he accidentally took too much medicine. And these were the last two living things my grandma had of his. Abby passed away in 2011 because of congested heart failure. And Salem passed away today because he had the cancer, but the cancer went away. Get this, Salem died of the same thing congested heart failure and also liver failure but so say so that's why they were really important because they were the last th living things of her son and now there's nothing if you're wondering why she's my grandma that's a totally different story but um She's not really, we're not really blood related. We're, my mom's just such good friends with her. I can call her grandma. Um, but yeah, guys, I've wasted like 20 minutes of your day. 
and I probably won't add music to this, and I'm sorry about that, but I'm gonna add in that one thing at the end, and I, I'm sorry I wasted your guys' time, but I'm just, I don't know. Anyway guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. See you later. Bye.